Hello everyone, welcome back to Bioschool. This is Dr. Gayatri. Hope you all are fine. In previous video, we have discussed about species richness and species evenness. Species richness and species evenness are the two main factors that are taken into account when measuring diversity. In today's session, we will see what is Simpson's diversity index with its example and at the end, we will solve some previous year CSI net questions. So guys, please watch the video till the end. Thank you. So let's get started. Simpson's diversity index. It matches the diversity. There are the two main factors that are taken into account while measuring the diversity are the species richness and species evenness. Then next comes to what is Simpson's diversity indices. The term Simpson's diversity index is referred to any of the three closely related indices which we are going to look. And that depends on the authors. So the first one is the Simpson's index, which is represented by capital letter D. It measures the probability of two individuals that are randomly selected from the sample will belong to the same species. Okay. The Simpson's index, it is calculated by two formulas. Uh, the D equal to summation of small n divided by capital N whole square. And another one is the D equal to summation of small n multiplied by small n minus 1 divided by capital N multiplied by capital N minus 1. So where the small n it represents the total number of organisms of a particular species. Okay. The small n it represents the total number of organism of a particular species. Where is the capital N that represents the total number of organisms of all species. Okay. And the value of D, that is the Simpson's index, that ranges from 0 to 1. Where the 0, it represents the infinity diversity. And 1 represents the no diversity. That means, if the value of D is higher, then the diversity is lower. So, the, here the Simpson index D, it is inversely proportional to the diversity. That means, if the value of D is higher than or the value of D is bigger, then the diversity becomes lower. Then the next one is the Simpson's index of diversity. Okay, it is the Simpson's index of diversity, SID. And how it is calculated? It is calculated from the Simpson's index. 1 minus Simpson's index is Simpson's index diversity and its value it is ranges between the 0 to 1 but here if the value is greater then the diversity is also greater that is Simpson's index diversity which is calculated 1 minus Simpson index and Simpson index diversity it is directly proportional to the Diversity. If the value of Simpson index diversity is greater, then the diversity will also be greater. And the third one is Simpson's reciprocal index. Simpson reciprocal index means 1 divided by Simpson index that is D. It is calculated as 1 divided by D. And here the value of index is starts with 1 as the lowest value. And higher the value, the greater the diversity. So now we will see the previous year CSR UGC net question. What is the question? Question is, following table shows the number of individuals of 5 tree species in a community. Okay. These are the tree species. Five, there are the 5 tree species are present and the number of individual for each species is also given. Based on the above, the Simpson's diversity index of the community will be, it is asking about the D. So the formula is, there are the two type of formula are, formulas are present just by putting the formula D equal to summation of N small n divided by capital N whole square. So where the N is the number of organisms or the number of individuals of each species and capital N is the number of individuals of all the species. Okay. So here the three species A, B, C, D, E, five species are given and the number of individuals number of individuals of each species that is the small n 
okay it is the small n and and the capital n capital n is the total number of organisms present in all the species that is the capital n equal to 50 plus 20 plus 20 plus 5 plus 5 is equal to 100 okay now we'll calculate the small n divided by capital n okay the small n or the number of individual for the tree species a is 50 so 50 divided and the capital n is 100 50 divided by 100 equal to 0.5 and the whole square of 0.5 is 0 0.5 Two five. Similarly, the value for the species B, C, D, and E are also calculated. Okay. And now putting the formula D equal to summation of n divided by n square. Okay. So here we got the value of n divided by n square and the summation of n divided by n square um, is. 0.335 so the correct answer is option b and this question it carries four marks and it's very simple thank you so much for watching this video and this video will definitely help you a lot if you find this video very useful then please do like share and subscribe bye bye see you in my next video